Yes, 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 namaste. What's going on, man? Wake the fuck up today. Listen, let me let you in on a little something. There ain't shit you can do that makes the market move. None of you. None of you have enough money to make the market move. Sometimes the best thing to do is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Don't try to make anything happen. Just sit where you are. Sometimes that is absolutely the best move to make. The worst thing to do is sell shit that you like because other people are selling it because the fucking herd, short-term traders, algorithmic traders, or day traders have decided to take the market up and down. Markets go too high, which a lot of people think we went too high. That's nonsense. The market went too low, right? This is what it does. It, ex it swings in extremes. Well, guess what? Let me ask you something. Here's an idea. You could have a fucking backbone. Here's an idea. You could invest in a stock and actually believe in your fucking convictions. That's an idea. Here's an idea. You could stand there like a fucking king with your hand, right? With a sword in your hand and defend your fucking position. That's an idea. Or you could break fucking wheat like most of the people that I see who actually what happened is now that the water's gone out, we've exposed. You don't believe in any of the fucking stocks you bought. You're just fucking watching numbers go up and down, which is the weakest fucking players in the market. Well, I just watch numbers go up and down and you will fucking lose your whole life. I promise you, if you don't have conviction, if you don't believe in the shit that you bought, if other people can shake you out, dude, you already lost this game, man. You already lost this game. Now you're like, oh, I should have sold this because you didn't have a fucking plan. You should have planned in the beginning when this happens. I'm going to sell this, not sell this. I'm going to hold this. You should have that plan in the beginning. If you didn't, life fucking lesson was just learned. Have a plan the moment you buy a stock. When you buy a stock, you need to decide, I'm going to defend this. What does that mean? That means you fucking hold it. That means you hold it. You stick to your convictions, okay? You don't let the other people knock you the fuck around. So you go look and you study on the company and you say, I really like this company. Good. Defend it. We see that with ARC funds right now. While other people are selling Tesla, she's in there buying it. Why? Because she's fucking smarter than everybody else. Because they're too fucking short-minded and stupid. They're going to sell it just because everyone else is selling. These are weak hands. These are just traders. People who trade numbers up and down, up and down, up and down. They don't know shit about the company or the statistic. They're just trading numbers up and down, up and down. There's computers that'll take numbers too high. It's a fucking computer, not a human being, a computer that takes the number up and then it takes it down. And there are human beings that will sell their stock because a fucking computer took the price down. A computer took it down and you sell your stock. Zero fucking conviction. Now you say, well, Gerald, I want to compete with the computers. I'm going to move in and out and in and out and in and out. Good fucking luck. Good luck with that. So you can do that. You could try that. That's fine. Uh, here's the thing. Ain't none of those people on the Forbes list. Ain't none of them on there. That's not how you make big money. You think you make big money flipping houses? House flippers are fucking broke. They're always going from one deal to the next. All they've done is create a job for themselves. You know how you get rich in real estate? You buy houses and hold them and collect rent. And then when the mortgage is paid off, you borrow all the money out tax fucking free and do it again. And you do that for generations and your family stays fucking rich. And then Nancy Pelosi and these other motherfuckers can go on TV and talk about how unfair it is you're fucking rich. That's, that's how you get rich. Holding assets for a long period of time, letting them double and triple and quadruple. You don't let fucking computers shake you out of your hand. Now, if you're a short-term trader, right? Well, then you should have placed your stop and gotten stopped down. If you didn't, then you're a shitty short-term trader. But I'm not a short-term trader. So you need to decide what the fuck you are. And then stick to the plan. Have some damn conviction. And if your conviction is I'm a shareholder, then be a damn shareholder. Be an owner. So if you own the entire company of Tesla, would you wake up in the morning, look at the news and go, Oh my God, sell the whole company. Nobody would do that. But these weak fucking hands that own the stock, they don't see themselves as owners. And so this cycle has been playing out ever since stock market began. My entire adult life, I've watched people blow their fucking accounts. I've watched people sell everything at the bottom. I've watched every sell-off be a fucking scare. Ever since I've been selling books and teaching people how to trade stocks, I've watched people, person after person after person after person, completely fuck up their money situation because they sold stocks because computers took it down. Fucking computers took it down. And so they lost conviction of a stock they own because a computer took it down and they said, well, I'm out, right? 
And now as the more, as the more, and here's what I've realized. It happens in every field of everything, of every time. It's any kind of asset, whether it be bonds, whether it be gold, whether it be Bitcoin. There are people that bought Bitcoin at 10,000, sold it at 6,000 because they were stupid and it had dropped by 40 cents or 40% only to now watch it go to 48,000. And what should they have done? They should have just waited, bought more and let it keep going. But they were weak. They had zero fucking conviction and their conviction. Oh, I must be wrong because it went down. You ever occur to you that maybe they're fucking wrong and that you're right? You ever occur to you that being right, sometimes you stand alone? Being right, sometimes you're the only one who's right. They don't, do you ever notice that? Like the people we look up in the sun, oh, they're amazing. Ray Dalio, yeah, because he did some shit other people didn't do. He didn't, you get what I'm saying? Like, or the guy who's famous for shorting the housing crisis in 2008. For a fucking year, he was wrong. For a fucking year, he was wrong. He was building the position, building, and he was going down, going down, going down. It's like these weak fucking hands that own Bitcoin and everything. Oh, it's going down, so I got to get out. So no, you'll never be fucking famous, and they'll never make a TV show of you because you have zero fucking conviction. Now, I don't know. Maybe you do have conviction. So it's just an idea. Here's an idea. Have conviction. Like, do shit you're convicted on. And if you think, hey, I'm not that convicted on this, then say that shit in the beginning. Instead of plan and get out. And there's nothing wrong with that. You don't like Tesla? Sell the stock. But if you like it and you're a shareholder, don't let computers shake you out. Don't let price going down shake you out. That's an opportunity, right? Make sense? And, all, and don't let the amount of money you have. If you utter these words, this is all my money, then get the fuck out of the stock market. That's not how it works. You can't have money in and it goes down and all of a sudden you got to get out because it went fucking down. That makes you a weak hand. You're the weak fucking hand, okay? You don't want to be a weak hand. If you think you're a weak hand, fix the situation before you get put in a position of being a weak hand. So, you know, you're at the poker table and you're like, who's the sucker? It's you. So you got to figure out, are you the sucker in this stock game? Are you the sucker or are you the winner? It's up to you, man. You got to decide. This is, it's, it's, it takes courage, man. It's fucking mindset. You remember when I was telling people to buy Exxon and Chevron? I got so much shit. People were like, oh, the, the losses in Exxon, I've cut my penis off. I used to have a guy that would post that. He'd follow and just fuck with me every day because I was telling people to buy Exxon. Then it went down. And I said, listen, I would just buy more Exxon. And it went down. And then everybody's like, you're so stupid. We're going to electric cars. We're never going to use oil. Per day. And he had Jim Cramer on TV, same thing. Don't buy Exxon. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I got conviction. So guess what? I'm going to keep buying it. Fuck that guy. Guess what? Now, I listen to Jim, but Jim, you're wrong on that shit. What's the best stock in the stock market right now? How long did that take? I was wrong for six, seven months. You got people can't be wrong two fucking days and they give up. How long was I wrong? Seven months. You got people in this market can't be wrong two fucking days. Two days they're wrong and they're selling their shit. Zero fucking conviction. Zero. Now, I don't give a fuck what they do. I'm talking to you. The rest of the, most of these, this is all hedge funds and computers, but I'm talking to the individual. You can't compete with them. Have some fucking conviction, okay? That's the message today. Have a fucking backbone, right? Invest in shit you understand so that when it gets fucked up, you can buy more. Some of you own great companies and you sold them this week and you won't get your position back. It ain't going to happen. You fucked up and you won't get back in. And you're like, oh yeah, but I avoided it. But I guarantee you, you won't get that position back. And you'll go off to some other dumb shit and watch it go up three, four, five fucking... You know how many times I had to learn this lesson with Netflix, fucking Amazon, Facebook? You know how many assholes sold Facebook because it went to $18 and now it's what? You know how many people sold Netflix and now it's what? Or I can just list these stocks, hundreds of them, of people who sold them because of the slightest little fucking bounce. Watch them to go up three, four, five hundred percent over a year, two years, three years. What's up with Exxon now, huh? Who's the fucking smart guy now? Exxon, Chevron, Conoco, that $40,000 I had in oil stocks looks pretty fucking sweet right now. While everybody's tech stocks are crashing. Huh? How about those electric fucking cars now, huh? Yeah, how about Tesla now, huh? Oh, it don't look so good. So when I, when you were buying your Tesla and I was buying Exxon, right? Yeah, all those weak fucking hands are selling now. Mm. So I'll buy your Tesla from you now with the profits from my fucking oil. How about that? So now I'm buying uh, utility stocks. 
I might be wrong for five or six months. So if you're the kind of guy that two weeks from now, you're like, yeah, AAP ain't gone up, then don't fucking listen to me. It takes time. It takes time. Big fucking picture. That's why when you order a book, I send you these things called the 10 pillars of success. A pillar that says, see the big picture doesn't say see the big picture for two weeks. It says, see the big picture. Life. We're trading and investing for life, right? For life. So the big short, that guy was wrong for about a year before he made billions. Most of the people in the market today got no conviction, weak ass hands, little backbone, would have sold that shit, never would have made billions, even though they had the right idea. Because they're, uh, well, I digress. But not you. Listen, if you're in the money flow gang, you better get some fucking backbone and you better, I'm serious, get some fucking backbone and conviction. Now, some stocks you cut, that was the plan. Some stocks you trade, that was the plan. But it ain't all of them, right? Some of these, a lot of these, you're going to look back a year from now, they're going to be up three, four, five hundred percent. You're not in them because you broke weak and you're not in them. And you think, well, I'll catch the next one. Maybe, maybe you won't. Maybe you had an idea that was correct. And now you've watched it sail and sail, sail, sail out of fear. I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. I only sold like three stocks, I think, in this one. I had planned to sell. That was my plan. I always have three that I'm willing to cut. Two or three, I'm going to cut them. It's called lowest conviction. I like them. I like them enough to have money in them. But in a, in a situation, I'm going to cut them. But I'm not cutting all of them. Why? Because I'm going to take that money and defend the castle. I'm going to defend the ones that I like the most. I've been buying Zoom, right? I've been buying utility companies, right? I got a bunch of uh, penny stocks that I've been in, but started buying the pharmaceuticals that you little bitches are selling. I've been buying those. So there's a bunch of stocks that I've been buying, but my window's bigger than two weeks, okay? So some conviction. It's longer than two weeks. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see a year from now where these utility stocks are. I think they'll be a lot higher. You know, maybe I'm wrong. I'll be wrong for a while. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I can stand and be wrong for a while. I don't mind. Um, conviction, man. That's it. That's the message today. If you like a stock, you ain't got to sell it. Buy more. Now, two things are happening. Most of this shit is computer selling, hedge fund selling. They're all, hedge funds are dipshits. Hedge funds, fucking computerized selling up and down. But you know what the real, the, uh, and then, you know, day traders doing the thing they do. Volatility is your friend. You want Bitcoin to go from 10 to 6 so that you can buy at 6 and sell at 12 and then let it come in. Meaning you got to get on the right sides of these things. Now, if you sold a lot of stocks higher, cool, right? Cool. Um, so that you can pick them back up lower if you actually pick them up. Most people who say that shit don't actually do it. You know, and that's where the tool of the RSI comes from. We buy strength, we sell, where we sell strength and we buy weakness, right? On conviction stocks. So I don't know. I hope that helps you have some courage, think through what you're doing, see the big picture and seize the opportunity and don't let other people steal your financial future for God's sakes.